welcome, welcome to Gingham Fisheries. We're going to be uh, doing a spot of fishing today, and uh, this lodge tends to have a heck of a lot of carp and F1s in and things like that. So hopefully, we'll have it to ourselves today. So, Gingham Fisheries is in Horwich, and it's five pound for all day. Brow the hill, and I'll show it you. Just over my shoulder, you can see we've got a smaller little pond, and again, quite a few pegs along that way. Um, I've fished on this one before, and it is quite nice. There's some quite uh, sizable fish in there, but I do like fishing on a bigger lodge, really. But yeah, when it's really busy in the summer, uh, you can only tend to get on this part if you don't come really early. So yeah. As I say, we're at Gingham Fisheries in Horwich. It's owned by a guy called Paul. He's an ex-builder. He's created all the pegs here. And uh, yeah, it's five pound all day. Nice and peaceful. The road is just at the back though. You can slightly hear it. It's not too bad. That's one thing I like when I come fishing is peace and quiet. And road noise is just like a no-no. It does your head in, doesn't it? So yeah, nice and peaceful here though. So my rod of choice is a cart feeder, it's a quiver tip and I tend to like fishing, method fishing, method feeder fishing so uh, this rod is ideal for that. Slight hiccup, I did break one of the uh, quiver tips actually because I'm a little bit uh, heavy handed when I threw out the method feeder it wrapped around the top of it and literally snapped the top off so yeah we're down to one i'm just hoping that i can nip back to the shop at some point from where i purchased it from which is the adlington angling center believe it or not in uh, adlington and hopefully i can pick another one of these uh these quiver tips up The reel that I'm using at the moment is made by Shimano and it's the FX2000. Nice little reel, quite cheap, about 30 quid, something like that. But yeah, decent, decent reel. Always come prepared. Lots of brews, lots of food and snacks. Today on the menu, homemade goulash. <laughs> That's my lunch. So as I say, we're going to do some method feeding fishing today. And we're on a, a six pound line going to be using my main method feeder which I love. It picked it, it, pick, 
you can pick these up at any angling center really good and it comes basically comes with this but I don't tend to use this one it's like a plastic rubber mold but I find it garbage to be honest with you so I purchased one of these separately and what that's got is like a just pop that there it's got like a bit of a helping hand to get it out get your uh, your method feeder out of the, uh, the the actual feed itself or the mold I should say so it's got a little button you just press that and it pops out it's a lot easier as this is aimed at beginners this channel I'm a beginner but I thought I'd uh, I'd get into it first and start learning it a little bit more just so that I've I can actually speak about it and give you a little bit of of newbie knowledge really so what I'm doing here I'm just uh, I'm tying I'm tying the method feeder off onto a swivel what they call a swivel you know that stops everything getting tangled up it turns it swivels believe it or not and uh, yeah it just keeps everything from from uh, from tangling up so this is the main line to my to my reel and what I'm doing here is I'm just twisting it round you twist it round the line after you've threaded it through the eye of the the swivel just keep twisting it round the line about six or seven times or so and then grab the end of it and this is the tricky bit and you need really good eyesight and I ain't got it <laughs> so it might take a while for me so as you can see right at the top of the swivel there's the little initial hoop that we started it all from what you want to do you want to get your end of your line just through that hoop I've got it yeah I've got it wow so I don't know whether you guys can see that there it's literally just gone through the hoop not the swivel the actual line hoop and what you want to do then is just wet all that that's why I tend to just spit on my fingers and rub it in or you can just grab it grab it in your mouth give it a good old lick and then just pull that line tight pull the end tight so it's not going to come off and that is a decent knot that's not going to come off. That's not going to break unless we get a massive fish on it. And there are massive fish in here. There's 22 pounders in here, believe it or not. So we've just snapped the end off there. I'll cut the end off with a pair of scissors and that's holding nicely now. It's ready to go. So I just thought I'd go into a little bit more detail as to uh, to the rig that I'm using. Now this is called a bait band rig. And when you purchase it, I'll show you the actual box itself. So when you purchase it, as you can see, you've got the, uh, the actual line there, which I'll show you back on that one actually. It's a lot easier because of the, the plastic, you might not see it. So you get uh, in the, with the rig, you get the actual line with a hoop attached already you get the hook and you also get the band now the band is used for your bait you don't pop the bait on the hook when you're method feeding then all that goes into uh, into the actual mold along with the feed and then you pop that over the top and give it a good scrunch down and uh, yeah Bob's your uncle hopefully you've got a decent method feed there this is my method feeder bait now this consists of a lot a lot of things so you've got sweet corn in there you've also got ground bait and you've also got the uh the two mil pellets the feeder pellets which is krill mix and i've also got some um some dead some dead maggots in there as well and all this when you finish with it 
I bring I bring all this out with me. I never use it all, to be honest with you. I've been here a full day and I've never used it all. So what I tend to do is pop it back in this bag and sneakily put it back in the freezer when I get home. Don't tell the wife because she doesn't know. Yeah, it does say fish bait on it, but she don't know what's in it, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So as you can see it's froze. So I tend to get it out normally the night before, but made a bit of a mistake and uh, got it out this morning so it's still a little bit frozen so we'll put about half in i'd say half into your uh, into your tub because what you're going to be using as well you're going to be using a lot of it as bait where you're going to be using your catapult to fire it out and hopefully attract more fish that way So that's it, all in there. So you can add a little bit of water, it's very powdery at the minute because it is still frozen. So we'll add a little bit of water, just soften it all up. And then hopefully we can get it into the mold. So I've given it a little bit of water, don't put too much in because you don't want it sloppy or else it will be a nightmare to get out of the mold. So I tend to just keep it like that, really. And as I say, it's still frozen at the minute. Well, ish. So uh, yeah, that's about the right consistency. It should come out quite easily out of the uh, the mold now. Right, so we're ready now to actually get it into the mold. So what I tend to do is quarter fill the mold up get a nice lining in there just like that get our expander pellet and pop it in there and then we'll get a drop of the good stuff which we'll use a little bit of the blood worm liquor just pop it over your bait I'll explain what this actually this system actually does so what you want to do now is just sprinkle over just over the top just a fine layer just to finish it off so basically once you've got the mold out you cast off and it's in the uh, the lodge that that feed breaks down slowly so it, it it sends out little fragments of food onto the floor so which attract the fish the fish come in nibble at all that and then they realise they see a nice big piece of uh, of bait, which is your your uh, your pellet, and then go for it, and then hopefully you've got yourself a fish. So that's the idea of uh, of the method feeder anyway. So it disperses when it's in the water. So yeah, over the top, give it a squidge squidge down, and then use your uh, use the yellow button just push it down and hopefully you'll have a decent let's have a seat well maybe not I think it's still a little bit frozen yet but you get the idea that's the shape that we were looking for so what we'll do in a minute we'll pat it down it wasn't too bad it nearly got it all out Just fill it. There we go. So that is how it should look when it's come out of the mould. Basically, just saves you from doing that, really. So that's it. That's ready to go now. Now, once you've bought everything, it is really cheap. It's a really cheap sport. But uh, yeah, I've bought all this over time and it's probably cost me about I probably spent about 150 quid on gear on the gear that I've got so I've got a cheap net but it's a decent landing net it does the job and I've pulled in probably quite a few um, what five pounders something like that four or five pounders with it 
so I've yet to see what it's going to be like with the bigger ones but you might need a bigger one but for the time being it's perfect for that and then I've also purchased myself a little carp a carp padded basically like a knee pad but you pop the carp on it when you caught it to save it from uh, damaging itself really so yeah these are about 16 pounds and that's a transition you can get it from any angling shop Get in this guy during that. Nice.
Fida. It's a big one. It's a Fida. This size, beautiful, huge. Let's get it back. Dumb today, guys. So that was all the massive food. Hope well, you enjoyed it. If you have, if you think about subscribing, giving that thumbs up, and also share the video, I'd be much appreciated. We'll see you on the bank soon.